Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain Steven. Today, chums, for you guys out there in the viewer verse, I've got a No Man's Sky video for thee. Yes, and this is a cup of tea with Captain Steve. Well, I do very little editing, but <laughs> hopefully it goes swimmingly well. Hmm. Pretty nice, that nice cup of tea. Anyway, No Man's Sky, what have I got for you today? You know, I must be getting pretty low on stuff now, shouldn't I? So, I'm creating my own stuff, people. <laughs> so here we go. Let's hit on up my reactions cam. Chicka boom! And there I am over onto screen. You know what? There's a little bit of text into this, so I might make myself a little bit larger on the old screen. Here we go. Now I'm right on the side. Heck yes, I am just above my little Winamps. I love my Winamps. Anyway, so this is a mock up, people. This is not real. This is not a real patch note, even though it's like opening a web browser. It's a PDF that I've created in Photoshop, and I was sent over this lovely template by Nicola Turdler. Uh, yeah, sorry if I pronounced your name incorrectly there, Nicola. Thank you very much, though, for the template. So No Man's Sky Valkyrie is what I've called this, and it's version 5.0. So this is a mock-up by moi. It's not real, people. So, yes, this is all going to come into play, this whole dark freighter and also a living ship that looks like it's warped in through some means impossible in current game and iteration. So, anyways, let's... um. Let's scroll on down and see what I've got for you people, shall we? Okay, we're going to have to wait for it to load a bit. There we go. Oh, okay, it's like the old days of dial-up. <laughs> Brilliant. Valkyrie introducing update 5.0. Update 5.0 Valkyrie gives more reason to have different ships in No Man's Sky. Each ship class type will now have its own perks. Perks, you say? <laughs> For example, shuttles now have mobile scrapping units installed. Landing next to a crash ship allows you to scrap it. Freaking awesome! So yeah, even if you've got all your ship slots full, but one of them is a shuttle, you can scrap ships still. Makes sense. Haulers have new smuggling bay. I mean, they used to have them. They took them away, but I'd like them added back in again. Maybe, I don't know, you know, 20, 15 slots, something like that, where you can just stuff stuff into. Any items here won't trigger a scan by sentinels or pirates. Follow... Oh, well, you go. Fighters now have S-Class missile modules. About freaking time! Yes, they can be installed. Once upgraded, you can fire four at once... And they gain lock-on and track enemies. Oh, that'd be freaking awesome. Goodbye, Wingman. Hello, Rockets. Yes, that will be better. All ship types have new perks, so it only gives free examples there. So the other examples, you know, why don't you sound off in the comments? What ship perks would you like on your ships of choice? Heck yes. Awesome. Anyway, let's scroll on down. Lovely little little icon, oh, an image here of a ship attacking freighters or something. Right, so, okay, so here we go. Ship missions as well as perks having a ship set as your primary mission agents will offer you ship related missions examples and it's the same free example ships again shuttles will be offered taxi missions to take someone from one system to another or in some cases to another galaxy <laughs> Yeah, I'll imagine you get bigger rewards for that, people. Haulers will gain smuggling missions. Fetch quests from pirate systems. Nice. Fighters will be asked to neutralise planetary targets or take out sentinel freighters and more advanced bounties in space. These will fall under expendable missions. Nice. Awesomes. Okay, right, well... What else have we got in here? We've got rewards for these missions can be super rare items such as station overrides, planetary charts to rare loot, echo lo locators to campsites, and much more. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Very, very tantalizing stuffage. There we go. Right, let's scroll on down. Ship class change. Okay, so this is a change. A quality of life. You will no longer be able to upgrade the class of your ships using nanites. Well, that doesn't sound good. You gain class XP as your ship runs missions. Okay. Your ship will auto-level up in the same way as frigates do from frigate missions. Uh, from doing the ship... Uh, yes, that makes sense. Vendors will only allow you to buy modules of the same class as the ship you're in. A C-class ship, vendors will only sell you C-class modules. Ah, uh, class-locked modules. So then it... it 
Yeah, because you can have a C-class ship and stuff it full of S-class modules, can't you, right now? That, I mean, that could work. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I wonder whether they carry that over to multi-tools and freighters and all that sort of shenanigans, you know? It, it does make more sense to add in more RPG elements. Now that the game is fully fleshed out, yeah, adding in more RPG elements is something that I really hope Hello Games sort of focus on to give that sort of level of depth to sort of keep you coming back. Anyway, I'm just going to... I'm, I'm going to carry on reading through this because we're just get about to get onto ship customization there, people. I'm just going to make myself a little bit larger on screen, have a little sip of my tea. But what are you guys thinking of this? Do you like these ideas so far? Does this all make sense? Start typing your comments, peeps. Hmm. Very nice, very nice, very nice indeed. Right, okay, let's get back over onto screen. So ship customization, people. You probably saw the title, and you probably already started reading ahead then, didn't you? Naughty you. Scrapping ships will add one part of that ship to your scrap vault. Okay, so you scrap a ship, choose a part from the hologram, boom, it goes into your scrap vault. You can store up to 20 parts, so choose wisely what you keep and what you scrap. Some ship parts may retain a trait or perk in rare cases. So you might end up with like 20 ship parts, all with perks on. And then if you built a ship out of those 20 parts, oh, you would have a freaking demon of a ship that can scrap ships, that's got a smuggling bay. <laughs> I like that. This means that making your own ship, you could gain access to a ship with multiple perks and one able to run a variety of ship missions. Nice. This ship class will be baselined to C class and you'd have to start over in getting your, uh, your XP and all that sort of shenanigans. But at least you're going to be running missions to do that and you're going to have a variety of them. And, oh, ha, 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 ha. You can also have the ship appraised and sold for units, nanites or even quicksilver. Oh my days, at the ship outfitting terminal, be sure to check out all the new features, including being able to gain a ship blueprint that other players can purchase at your base computers. Oh, so you get your ship blueprint from the outfitting station, go to your base computer, and then anybody that visits that base can get a blueprint of your ship. So it promotes base visits. Oh, very cool. Very cool indeedy doody. It'd be nice if the base computer showed a little hologram of your ship. Up. Oh, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's uh, <laughs> and look. There's some there's some customized ships there. So I think they've just took. Uh, yeah, I know what I did here. I took the wings off of this one, stapled them onto this one. I took the wings off of the, the shuttle and stapled them onto that one. But you know what? That looks really cool, doesn't it? it looks like the sh like a Star Fox type ship with an X wing sort of. I really like that. I'd be. I wouldn't mind merging a fighter and a shuttle together to get something like that that's pretty darn freaking gnarly anyway selling ships and multi-tools you c come again you can sell multi-tools about freaking time because at the moment you just have to replace the multi-tool at your detriment isn't it at least you can unpackage the tech though i suppose the scrap vendor at stations will now offer you a variety of currencies for your unwanted ships and multi-tools units nanites quicksilver and tainted metals you may want to shop around, as different races may value your items more so than others. A multi-tool with S-Class scanners in, for example, a Corvax merchant will prize. Ah, ah, sneaky! Okay, like it, like it. Living ships and void raids. What? Okay, living ships cannot be scrapped. Like all other ship types, these are not technology. Of course not, they're organic. They also cannot be customised or added to scrap parts. Okay, so what use do they have then? Living ships, however, now have a dimensional jump drive that lets you activate a boundary failure and fly your ship through it, entering into the void. You can spend 16 minutes in the void every 24 hours, like a raid! Freaking awesome! You may encounter envoys of the Void Mother, corrupted living frigates, and deadly living ships that would try and destroy you. In the void, you can find a new living you can find new living ship technology, some ancient and exotic ship parts and technology. So great for building your ships. Great for building your ships that bit, because you can find exotic and ancient ship parts. Oh, I guess. I guess there's been lots of ships going into the void and never coming back throughout time. Oh, I like. I like. So maybe they're like salvageable in space or something. Yeah. 
but you can also find living ship technology. So I guess like destroying maybe some of the living frigates and destroying the living ships, you might get bundles of this or something that might turn into organs for your own ship, and you can put in some new technology. It'd be cool to get like a cannon with little boogers that stick to the opponent's shield and slowly dissolves it or something, you know? Like an organic living weapon. That'd be cool. Rare multi-tool blueprints and tech for your multi-tool, like the incinerator, heck yeah. It'd be nice to have sticky grenades as well and things like that and proximity mines and things. Yeah, the main aim is to locate the dark freighter and board it and look for iteration Ariadne. Each dark freighter has a chance to find memory fragments from the lost traveller and you can slowly bring the real Ariadne back to the anomaly safe haven. Okay, so you slowly restore her consciousness into the doppelganger. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Fragments may also contain rare skins for your ship, exosuit and multi-tool. The rarest of skins being reflective, two-tone, LED Tron-like or metallic. Freaking, oh, I'd love a Tron type one. You know, you've got all this piping inside of the Nexus, all these glowing lines in the Nexus. It'd be cool to have like a suit that looks like it's from the Nexus with all these Tron lines on it. That'd be freaking ace. Especially if you can put it on your ship as well and your multi tool. I know I'll be trying to hunt out a whole load for my ship, exosuit, and multi tool to have it all matching. Or even if it was reflective, like silver. So you look like the Mandalorian in best car armor. That'd be cool. Or metallic, nice. And, yeah, I like all this. The uncommon, the uncommon may give your technology ships some organic looking textures. So yeah, for your normal ships, maybe it has. Okay, all right, fine. More skins and loot to be added into the void as time goes on. Yeah, so Hello Games could replenish the Quicksilver store, but also pump more stuff into the void for the daily raids. Yeah, it makes sense. Once Ariadne is fully restored, then an award awaits you. Ooh, ho, ho. Upon re-entry, then on after into the void, the Dark Freighter can award you with memory fragments that are more likely, when unencrypted by Ariadne, the restored Ariadne, to produce rare items. Nice. Okay. Brilliant. Eh? Okay. Last part, people. Yeah, I can't scroll any further, which is a shame, isn't it? Because I would like more of the same. The Void Mother has corrupted travellers in the void. They are part machine and part flesh. They guard the Dark Freighter with technology you have, have never seen the likes of before. I wonder whether they would have multi-swords. I want a multi-sword. Yes, it is teased in the Traveller lore. If you haven't seen the Traveller lore, I'll put a video up there, people. Hit up the Traveller lore, because there are corrupted travellers, you know, lingering around stations that are definitely from another realm. I wonder if that's them. And then again, there's an image down here of these weird sort of looking beams in the background. They almost look like Corvax come Sentinel type. They're odd. But yes, that's actually concept art from Bo Lam. Bo Lam is an artist at Hello Games, and he drew some of this inside of his lunch break. Yeah, he, he didn't put them in the station like here. I, I, I photoshopped them into a station. <laughs> anyway, the final room on a freighter may contain a boss or puzzle before you gain your reward. Like it. Okay, cool. Well, you know, I, I kind of half acted like this is the first time I've read this, but you know, I made it. I made it yesterday, people. I guess I did. Yeah, anyways, and um, that's most yeah. During my old lunch break and a little after work, I put all that together, slapped it on the old Twitter space and slapped it over on Reddit. I haven't actually looked well, I have looked on Twitter, but I haven't looked this morning. And what people are saying about it. You know what? That might be an idea, mightn't it? To add a little bit more into this cup of tea with Captain Steve. Hold on, that's opened edge. I don't like edge. I'm a chrome guy. I like chrome. Here we go. Chrome. Boom. Let's open up chrome. Let's head on over to the old Twitter space. Yes, Captain Steve. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just, uh, just give me what I'm after. Lovely jubbly. Twitter. Let's jump on over into Twitter. Don't worry, people. I know you can't see anything just yet. I'm just getting in. I'm just getting in. I will bring it up on screen as soon as I'm there. Don't you worry. I've got it all in hand. Got it all in hand, people. It doesn't feel like that always, does it? But here we go. Let's um, head on over to my reaction camera now. Chicka boom! And I'm over on the Twitter space, or should be. So this is my profile page. I would watch this. Yeah, I like that. Someone else has been quite creative, haven't they? Yes, nice. Yeah, let's go on down. And uh, yeah, free MMO is coming. And here it is. 
Here's my actual tweet. So yeah, fan made. It's a mock up. It's not real. Bloody blah. blah. No, there you go. That's the person who made the actual template. Nicola Turgid. I can't do your surname, mate. But yeah, Nicola, thank you very much. Anyway, let's scroll on down and uh, let's have a look. Oh, we've got 14 comments. 14 comments. Lovely jobs. Let's have a little read. Oh my God, I love it, says James MC. Well, thank you, James MC. Much appreciated. Ray Reynolds. Oh, selling ships and multi-tools was something I didn't know I needed. Imagine setting up your own store in the universe to sell you ships and weapons. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Fantastic ideas, says Marty Merrick. That was Ray Reynolds, the previous chappy. Ray Reynolds does some awesome photography over on Twitter. If you're not following Ray Reynolds, well worth a follow. Really is. And we've got this chap as well. Zeosta. I really like some of these ideas. I see customized ships there too. Love the idea of a storyline you follow and almost a boss objective. This is great. Yeah, it has actually got a little bit of a lore tie-in, hasn't it, with the old Ariadne? Yeah, Velterius ship specialization sounds really good, but I'm just content just having Sentinels on the game. I do wonder if we get new race considering Hello Games put the robot body parts on the the harmonia. Yes, yes, those robot parts. Maybe we might see bipedal Sentinels in the near future. Any of these changes would be awesome. Obviously, they all work together great. Awesome job, says Fate Maker. I slipped into Eric Cartman there, didn't I? Come say the way, come say the way with me. <laughs> I like perks and ship missions. Great ideas. Well, thank you. Space Explorer, don't forget PSVR 2 resolution, resolution improvements. Yeah, it would be nice if they did the eye tracking and the Fovey rendering and all that lot. And then hopefully, yes, they might be able to put some of that in. But with it coming over to Apple Mac and Apple Mac also trying to develop eye tracking for their VR goggles, something might happen in that space, people. Something might happen in that space, but we've got to watch that space. Heck yes. Tons of new ship designs, looks and components are what will bring me back in. Ship hunting is my favourite part of the game. Heck yeah, sports fan. Yeah, because they're not only just in normal space through the scrapping, but also inside of the void. Heck yeah. And you can find ancient ship parts and exotic ship parts. Whoa, ho, ho. Wow, Steve, good one. Thank you, Space Explorer. Stefan Greybeard, I just want to see an option to lock the VR HUD to your view so you don't have to keep spinning around to find it. Also an option to fly using the analog sticks while in VR. Okay, well, I've been using PlayStation VR too, and I must say, I was quite happy with the controls and everything. There were a few janky menus, like when you interact with a portal, and all the. Yeah, that wasn't so good. That was a bit freaking squiffy, to be honest, people. Okay, but can you upgrade the class of your freighter? I would imagine so. That'd be cool. I mean, yeah, I didn't put it inside the patch notes, but that would be good to see freighters also go up in levels. But you go, don't really send freighters out on missions, just the frigates. Maybe after your fleet gets to an S class, then maybe your free freighter starts upgrading. That would be nice, wouldn't it, OJ Cornness? I guess. Yeah. Freighter shopping is one of the things that sort of brought me to boredom and tears in a roundabout way. Not bad. Love the ideas. Took me it took me about four hours to get the freighter that I wanted. But when I got it, the sense of achievement was like second to none, you know? Anyway, I did put it over on Reddit as well. I don't know whether... Reddit is a completely different freaking crowd, isn't it? But you know what? Let's, let's go and hit on up the old Reddit. And uh, wait, I'll have a look. It takes me a little while to find my posts over on Reddit. I'm not going to lie. I'm not the best Redditor. So I'll see if I can get there fairly quickly. But then um, we'll see. No one's got a game. And I'm not too sure how to go to my own blinking posts on here, people. So, yeah, probably not the best way of doing this. Um, posts. Uh, da -da -da -da, mock up. Oh, it's got six comments. It's got six. Well, I'm, I've not looked at them, people. Let's um, let's jump on over. Let's have a look at these together, shall we, peeps? Chicka boom. We're now over on the Reddit, I suppose. Heck yes, we are. Let's scroll on down and let's see what we've got. So I did read the first comment. Yeah, it says, if all of this is true, then I'm about six different levels of excited. Gives a legit reason to run missions. It'd be the first time I've I've ever owned a shuttle type. Customising my ship looks fun. The Void Mother sounds like a fun battle. The Dark Freighter new tech is always a welcome addition. The only selling modules of your ship class will make it a lot easier to hunt S-class modules. And selling unused multi-tools for nanites would be great to use for all multi-tools. Ignoring the Sentinel camps. 
and I just put, it's just a mock-up, it's not real. I've done this in Photoshop using a template, which I made abundantly clear in the actual title. But, um, yeah, oh well. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then we've got this one. Well, if I could choose one to force Hello Games to add next, I would like the ship perks, honestly. It gives a hell of good reason to have multiple types instead of... I currently have got two exotics. Okay, you're brilliant. Well, there you go. I'll hit a little upvote on that. Damn, got me excited for a second. Well, it still could happen. I did one of these mock-ups a few years back, and I mentioned having sentinel strongholds and pillars to shut down the sentinel forces on a planet, and we ended up with that. So, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, if this gets enough upvotes, and if Hello Games sees it on this old Reddit space, maybe they might like some of these ideas. Maybe they might come into fruition and into game. Okay, okay, bat. This must have taken a lot of work to make some great ideas that Hello Games might be able to do in-game, but ship customization is something I don't see them ever doing. There's other games if people are looking for that. Okay, you could be right, to be fair, but at the same time, you know, I'll just put it out there. I mean, at the end of the day, the ships are brought in via ship seeds, but then so too are our pets, and we can customise the pets to some degree, like changing their colours and mutating them and all that sort of stuff, and it just alters the seed of the one we own. So I'd imagine whatever they're using to put ships into the iteration with customizations on is the same way that they could bring ship customization into game. Although, be it probably a little bit more involved than what they did with pets. Okay, boo! I thought this was real. Boo! <laughs> Says Boiled Goose. Well, Boiled Goose, it's not my fault that you can't read a freaking title. Yeah, fan made. Mock up. The first word, mock up. <laughs> not real. Not real. Okay, coolio. And I even said thank you for the template to this guy. So yeah, definitely not real. And you can tell on this one it's not real because it's, it's even got the wrong font for No Man's Sky at the top there. You see that? Yeah. So I, I tried to make it a little bit more obvious over on the old um, Reddit space. That it, it's definitely not real. <laughs> okay. All right, so there we go, people. So different crowns, different measures, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, not to not Reddit, but Reddit Reddit can be a place where um, you do get a little bit more critique than anywhere else. But I, I kind of like Reddit for that reason. I wouldn't change it. And heck no, I wouldn't. It's, it's an interesting place, is Reddit. I guess it is. Anyways, how much of my tea? I've still got half a mug of my tea left, people. How long have I been going for? 20 minutes, and this is still warm. It is still warm. It's still good. I'm going to go finish that off, people. I'm going to go polish that off. I hope you're having a great morning. I hope this, this video made it even better. And I do hope that some of these ideas creep into the iteration. I mean, the last mock-up I'd done, there was quite a few ideas that have actually made it into iteration. So, yeah, it... Hmm. I wonder if I can find my old post. One second. Let's have a look. No Man's Sky mock-up. No Man's Sky mock-up. Bum, bum, bum. And what did I, I, Odyssey, I found it, I found it. I'll, I'll just jump on over. I'll show you what I mean, people, inside the viewer verse, shall I? Okay, here we go. Let's go back over to Reactions Mini. So this is one that I made three years ago. Okay, people, so this is No Man's Sky Odyssey. All right, so it's more for exploration. But inside of here, I put into here a little bit more lore and story to follow, and blah, 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 and maybe visiting the home worlds for the different races, you know. Cool. More structures appearing on planets, like mini cities. Well, soon after this, we got those giant archives, the colossal archives appearing on planets. I also put here, in here sentinel structures now making appearance, allowing you to raid them and shut down sentinel activity on planets in the system for a period of time. We got that. That came in. We got the colossal archives. That came in that kind of looked like, you know, giant freaking things on the landscape. So we got those. Megafauna. Megafauna and Apex Predators will appear on planets and you can gain lifeform scanners from ship vendors. This will allow you to detect systems from galactic map that have large signatures and once in a system highlight larger than normal lifeforms. Well, we didn't really get that, but we did get Megafauna in the way of giant space Leviathans. Yes, we've got the Helios, but now we've got Leviathans in space. So, you know, could it be that? They have added in some. It says you can now scan and hunt the sandworms. Well, funny enough, the sandworms now have a red dot on them. You can't scan them. You can't do combat with them. But I'm hoping, 
in future maybe we can that'd be cool this one i also put in about entering the void but i didn't go into um the same sort of level of detail as i have on the latest patch notes that hasn't come in i also had ship customization in here and also the classes and perks and i went to town with them a little in there as well so there's a little bit of that too abandoned freighter bosses so i did want to see bosses appearing inside of the derelict freighters that hasn't happened either but I did mention about new Sentinel types, new Sentinel ships as well, and stations, Sentinelized stations. Well, we've seen the Station B from inside of the actual game files now that do look more Sentinelized, and they've added in that freaking Station Core that almost looks Sentinelized as well. So, yeah, it does make you wonder. I also put down here... Living in the outer edge is possible, but it's far more of a challenge. Assisting in the bit battle, you can be awarded of ownership of your own Sentinel drone. Well, we've got that. We've now got Laylaps, our own little Sentinel drone. We've got that. So that got added in too. So there's quite a few bits in here that have actually made it into iteration. Now, not everything made it in, and it took three years for some of this stuff to come in. But um, yeah, that was my mock-up for version 4.0. So there we go, people. So it is possible. Some of the things that are inside of some of these crazy ideas, they sometimes make it into iteration. You know, so I don't know whether that was down to me or whether it's just down to lots of people using the Zendesk, submitting ideas that have all been along the same vein. And Hello Games has said, you know what? We're going to take this and this is the way we're going to deliver it. Because... Although I said about Sentinel Strongholds, I was hoping that they would do like a procedural dungeon. I didn't go into detail though, did I? You know, they said we've got a sentinelized structure that shut down the sentinel activity. It's more aligned and more akin to what was inside of those notes, you know? Anyways, yeah, there's still a quarter left. I mean, you know what? I'm not going to pad this out until I finish my cup of tea, no, people. In fact, I'm going to go and make myself a fresher brew, I think. And um, yeah, there we go, people. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you have a good day. Salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. <laughs>